Hello and welcome to a Star Citizen and Board Gamer channel update for July 2021. What's happening in the world of Star Citizen content this month and what can we expect? So let's start with the June Mercury Star Runner giveaway. We give away a ship every month and for June the winner was Etalona Ganda. Congratulations, I have no idea how to say your name, I'm the worst. For July we're giving a Constellation Taurus with lifetime insurance away and a gameplay package with that so it's everything you need to play the game multi crew bam the ship will be flyable later this month so that sort of makes sense right just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that Star Citizen Alpha 3.14 that's this month we're getting lots of this stuff so we should be having first wave PTU literally any day now and that means that July will be mostly focusing on that PTU patch new gameplay from it and then obviously we're going to be covering patch notes and problems and uh, the PTU will be going into live at some point throughout July, we hope. Um, it could be um, that it's very, very delayed uh, into the next month, but I think that's unlikely. I think mid-July is when we'll see 3.14 live and um, that new landing zone, Orison and Crusader, will be a staple for content. It's so pretty. Obviously, it's new. All the new stuff, we'll check that out. Ship combat changes are massive in this patch as well, so there is a variety of other gameplay here and lots of other minor updates and changes that aren't stated in the sort of release view for the patch, but we'll ex be exploring all of that in depth. We have at least a couple of major in-game events coming up as well, which we shall probably see throughout July. The Xenothreat Remaster, which is the original Xenothreat mission with bugs fixed and new little bits going on with it and it looks like the phases are literally following immediately after each other so you have the cargo sort of resupply of the javelin and immediately take that into a combat bam 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 big fleet battle so it, there looks like there's a huge amount of improvements there and obviously you've got the new combat that 3.14 brings as well so that'll be really interesting and then we have the entirely new event the nine tails lockdown which is going to be run multiple times throughout 3.14 and future as well so we're going to be covering those events with news guides, gameplay, all that sort of stuff. Community playthroughs as well. That's something we very much want to do this month um, if 3.14 is stable enough for it. And if you want to be involved in those sort of playthroughs and just let's jump in and play and try and do something, um, come to discord.gg forward slash boardgamer. We're not particularly organised. Sin will be organising it, but it's going to be sort of jump in and play and see what sort of happens. Um, not hours and hours of like waiting around or anything we're just gonna go straight in uh, you can also expect a ship sale for 3.14 there's obviously the Taurus but if anything else turns up as well or any ship that's been significantly changed will also be on sale at the same time um that's what they typically do anyway and we've got those new missile changes and combat changes there's a lot that's changed we are likely going to get combat and related ship event sales as well for that xeno threat and nine tails lockdown they go bam these events have started you might want a combat ship so yeah, and if you've missed out on buying some ships during Fleet Week, then you may be in luck. Last year, we had the Foundation Festival throughout July as well, and I'd expect a similar thing probably this year as well. So this is sort of like celebrating the Star Citizen community and getting new players into the game and uh, the community as a whole, but also in lore, it's sort of celebrating humanities coming together and Emperator Day and, and all this sort of stuff. So um, this is encouraged previously players to actively use tutor and participate in the guides program on the RSI website so if you're a new player or you want to learn how to do something you can go I want someone to teach me how to do this and then they'll be paired with you and you'll jump into game together and they'll be able to teach you how to do that particular gameplay loop and people last year got rewarded with um, exclusive badges skins and ships for being good guides and doing lots of um, helpings uh, there was a screenshot contest too to win some ships and that was having players snap a shot of their crew or group action um sort of it's all about people coming together it's all about group uh group gameplay um that's like crew and group gameplay merged together that word but um, we use that group also as part of this there was some in law action as i mentioned earlier emperor day sort of like in the middle of the month maybe we'll see what the new emperor addison's been doing see if she's affected the universe much in um while she's been in charge of humanity maybe we'll have some stuff like that um, and they might even spice things up with, I know, starter ship packages and maybe referral bonuses. That sort of makes sense, right? That's more of a, I reckon, more than anything confirmed, though. Inside Star Citizen is on a hiatus, so we're not going to have much of that throughout July. It does return on the 22nd, though. Um, so 22nd July, bam, new Inside Star Citizen, probably the beginning of 3.15 content. It's going to be looking at um, content and development that's going into Q3, Q4 of this year. Content-wise, for the channel... 
we're going to have loads of 3.14 content, patch notes, guides, um, tours of the Taurus, um, how that sort of fares in the game, Orison and Crusader tours, lots of stuff there, any new missions, um, state of the game videos, start here, Star Citizen, I have a new guide, um, we might do a tutorial for each gameplay loop as well, how do mining, how do cargo, how do bounty hunting, um, sort of like how to start those gameplay loops, what you need to do that, um, how you can do that, and how to get the most out of those gameplay loops. Uh, any new missions and the new meta uh, will also be high on the list. Me and Zin want to do more gameplay. We also want to do more meta. We want to talk about what's meta, what works, what's good for c combat, what's good in particular circumstances. Because of the big combat overhaul, it just makes sense to start doing that here. Uh, also, 3.14 gameplay. Yeah, we're going to be covering those events. Me and Zin are going to be playing the game a lot more. Woo! So look forward to that. We have the monthly reports, which should start up next week, probably around the 7th of July. This is going to give us some deeper perspective of um, some of the work that Cloud Imperium have been working on for Squadron 42 and Persistent Universe, like we always get every month. Uh, I want to do a bit of a deep dive into Star Citizen's AI and NPCs, um, what we're waiting on, what we're eventually going to get, um, as AI in the game at the moment is a bit meh, at uh, sort of like, uh, at best, um, but what we're we expecting them to eventually sort of do. They, they're supposed to be running our ships, so they need to be pretty good. And they're going to be providing interesting missions and PvE experience is going to be huge in Star Citizen, so they need to be good. Let's talk about that. Um, FPS gameplay is another one I want to talk about. We need that in a good state. So what, what are we waiting on? Um, Netcode, all that sort of jazz. Um, associated things and animations. Also, Theatres of War. I want to look at Theatres of War and do a bit of a dive into that. What's going on with it? When are we going to see it? When are we likely to see it? What's what, what's happening? Uh, we had an interview as well with JP, a star citizen whale by all accounts. And that interview was awesome. And got a load of articles spreading up around the world in various different languages covering it. Because it, it was a really good, really good sort of interview. Um, JP is a really interesting character. He's a genuinely great friend and a massive supporter of the channel. I love you, dude. You are a star. Um, but uh, I've already got some more interviews planned already. So I want to be interviewing maybe at least once a month a Star Citizen superfan or a Star Citizen, uh, like an org that's left, uh, org leaders or ex-CIG employees or people that have made mods or different people in unique parts of the community, whether they're super pro Star Citizen, whether they've had a bad time as Star Citizen, role players or interesting characters, whatever. I just, I just want to talk to some people. Um, and hopefully have good interviews like we did with JP. Uh, generally, looking at future gameplay loops is something I want to do as well. Um, once we hear sort of like uh, little inklings on the more hot topics or whatever, I'll sort of like focus on, ah, let's talk about salvage, let's talk about this, let's talk about that, let's talk about medical gameplay. Medical gameplay will probably be talked about a lot um, in this month. Uh, quite often, I'll see an article or hot topic, and I will make a video about that too. And I'd like to keep um, doing the little sort of podcast that me and Zin do every so often, talking about our thoughts on the week's news and that sort of stuff. It also, um, it's good to talk about what's happening in the community. Uh, talking about that, actually, uh, the guys that travelled 22 days to get into the Stanton Star, good on you. Operation Icarus was silly and cool, and I want to look out for more things like that in the future too, to cover those. Good job. Uh, I really want to know as well what you'd like to see content-wise on the channel during July, specifically 3.14 gameplay, um, anyone you'd like me to interview, any cool things or drama you want me to look at, or just, we want to know about X at the moment, where's the Polaris, why haven't we got Y, that sort of stuff. Tell me, it gives me a good understanding of what the community want content-wise. I think Zin's pretty happy with her lore series as well, and people seem to be enjoying them, so expect more of those too. Um, some more personal stuff. This is reasonably heavy, so sorry about that. My dad's taken a bit of a bad turn. He is bedbound, and my mother and I are looking after him. Thank you for all your kind words. A load of people have sent me a load of lovely messages. Uh, it's possible the doctor will come back with something miraculous, but I am thinking that's relatively unlikely, but the more important thing for me at the moment is that I'm there for um, my family um, if they need me. And that's obviously going to come over making any form of Star Citizen content or work at the moment. Um, however, creating videos and chatting on stream is a major lifeline for me. And I've still got time to do that. So I also got the addition of Zin working for me full time, which means the channel and life, I can juggle that stuff much more easily. But just be aware if videos are... Um, coming out at odd times, or uh, rougher than normal, or I look undead on stream, you know why. 
and if I take a couple of days off or whatever, that's that's a possibility. Uh, a lot of people shared their stories of loved ones passing and recovering, and I really appreciate all the kindness there. Thank you so much. My mental health and physical health are actually surprisingly good considering at the moment, though. Uh, I had a bit of a cry on my new bed the other day, got a new mattress, laid down, and started weeping. Not because I was unhappy or, um, or anything like that, uh, but it was actually because of how comfortable it was, and I realised that I had not relaxed in uh, probably a couple of years. I'm a surprisingly tense individual, but I just lay there and went, This, my mattress, my old mattress must have been so bad. This is so nice. I've been exceptionally lucky with the amount of people that support the channel, asking questions during live streams, donating, like and subscribing, all that sort of jazz, but people chucked loads of money at me on Patreon and um, just signing up as YouTube members with that mysterious join button below my videos, which you should press and join. Seriously though, um, thanks to all the support and you guys are amazing, especially JP and Plastic Death over the last few weeks. Oh my, Chris Roberts, you guys have supported the channel a lot um, uh, over the last few weeks, so genuinely super appreciated for that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't take the great Chris Roberts' name in vain. Uh, other honourable mentions, Dan Goldsmith, you sorted me out, and me and Zin actually, out with 3080s, GeForce 3080s. We had to pay for them, but um, check out his company, amari.com, for professional workstation storage and serve solutions. Jaybird, you, you are a legend, Jaybird Max. Uh, I think you've literally modded every single one of my streams I've ever done over the last several years. Um, thank you. <laughs> You're amazing. Uh, I'm still shilling for NordVPN. Uh, we have a new outro, which you'll see in the rest of my videos throughout July, uh, using the links below to get Nord also um, help support the channel too, so maybe do that. Uh, boom! That's it for a channel update moving into July. Lots of cool stuff happening with Star Citizen, to be sure, but, and we will cover all of that here. But all your little commenty suggestions and feedbacks and your, your general thoughts, chuck them in the comments below because that does generally help me work out what the hell's going on. Uh, thanks for your continued viewership and support and I'll see you in the verse.